Uh, I'm going to show you how to use Grapher to uh, do a couple of things. Um, so Grapher comes with a Mac, and uh, if you don't know where it is, you can uh, just actually do a spotlight search for it. And um, let me just close this and start a new new one. So what you want is uh, not 2D, we want 3D. And uh, the default is has a black background. I, uh, I don't know, I just have trouble seeing that. So what I'm going to do is change it to white and go with that. Um, so, let me get this in the window. Okay, so what happens is uh, the positive axes have these arrows on them, and what we want to do is we actually want to graph a, uh, we want to try to graph a line, so in 3D. So what I'm going to do is uh, click down here, and you actually kind of can't see it because the window's a little too small. Um, if I click down here, things pop up. I want new equation from template and then that pops up and so what I really want is a curve and my curve is Cartesian um, so I'm going to select that by pressing OK and it gives me this template up here and from there I can uh, actually just fill it in so let's say I have uh, 2 minus uh, t over 2 and then I'm going to arrow down and uh, 3 plus uh, t over 4, and then let's say I have uh, negative 1 plus uh, t. And right now t goes from 0 to 10, so I'm just going to hit enter and see what happens. And you can kind of see your line um, where it's passing through the first octant there. Um, of course, I'm only getting it for t greater than or equal to 0. So if I click back up here and just arrow, I can make it, uh, whoops. Uh, negative 10 to 10 and I get that um, so uh, what I might want to do is I might want to see the point 2 3 uh, negative 1 so what I can do is uh, I'm gonna copy this so command C um, and then do plus and I want a new equation which I have to arrow up here um, plus a new equation, and it says Z. I'm going to get rid of that, do that, and what I'll do is, uh, actually I can just let T be 0, because that'll give me the point uh, that I wanted. So T equals 0, so that's point two three negative 1. Um, and then I can kind of repeat the process if I'd like to, to get more points, or I could have just changed the one that I had there. Um, t equals 1, for instance. So I get that. Um, I could just graph uh, the xy plane, so that would be z equals 0. And now maybe what I want to do, so I can look and see it. Clearly it's hitting that plane. Um, if I want to find where that's hitting the plane, well, z is 0. So um, I'm going to go back up here. Uh, if z is 0, that means t must be 1. So I will change this to uh, 1 again. Um, and you can see here it's telling me that the point is 1.5, 3.250, um, and that's where it hits it. And you can move it around. Um, and, you know, it's just, it's good to kind of play around with it and see what's happening. We can uh, zoom in and out. So if I zoom in, you can see that I'm getting closer and closer, which is why this point seems to be out kind of at infinity out at the edges. Um, if I zoom out, it'll look like it's getting closer because uh, I'm seeing more and more of the axes. Um, but I just think it's a really good uh, thing to play around with. It gives you a sense of... Uh, obviously, you can kind of get a better sense of what if what you're doing is working out. Um, but there's almost no documentation on this program. So um, I hope you find this helpful for uh, at least graphing 3D lines uh, and I guess a horizontal plane. Um, so uh, good luck with that.